In this video, we'll define row echelon form. To define row echelon form, we're going to need a quick preliminary definition, but this is a quick one. The leading entry of a row is the first non-zero entry tree in that row, reading from left to right. So for example, the first row has this as its leading entry, the second row reading from left to right, the first non-zero entry is this. The third row doesn't have a leading entry. With this definition, we can state our more significant definition. A matrix is in row echelon form if two conditions are satisfied. First, any row of all zeros is below any row with non-zero elements. For example, this matrix here satisfies this condition. This row has a non-zero entry. This row has a non-zero entry. This row is all zero. And the row of all zeros is below the rows with non zero entries. The second condition every entry below a leading entry is zero. And once again, this matrix satisfies that property. This row has one as its leading entry, and we see only zeros below that one. This row has two as our leading entry, and we see only zero below the two. Now, your textbook has a third condition that the leading entry of every row is to the right of the leading entry in the row above it. But actually this condition and this condition are equivalent. If a matrix satisfies this condition, it satisfies this condition automatically. And if a matrix satisfies this condition, it satisfies this condition automatically. We've already made the observation that this matrix satisfies this condition. I'm sorry, that this matrix satisfies this condition. It also satisfies this condition. If you look at the leading entries, this leading entry is to the right of this leading entry. So this matrix is in row echelon form.